New on Curiosity Stream, how do you connect a 16th century potato to limitless energy production? Could Napoleon's toothpick have a direct link to a machine that predicts the future? And how can a 1700s conch shell chart a course to humans connecting their brains to the internet? James Burke's visionary series Connections returns for a new generation. Experience all new Connections with monthly annual and bundled plans. Find the one that works for you at curiositystream.com. K360 Ray. Hello, J360 Legion, and welcome to the J360 Mini Bites here on J360 Radio, hosted by J.M. Brady. I am your host, J.M. Brady. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on, J360 Legion? How are you all doing this fine, fine uh, Tuesday afternoon? <laughs> yes, it is an early edition, and I am J.M.N., of course, and welcome to the J360 Mini Bites for episode 136. Yes, 136. You know, sometimes it gets kind of a lapse in there, whether it's 136 or 137 or not, but it's definitely 136. And um, <laughs> I'm only knowing that because of alternative thinking. But all in all, my friends, I hope you have been well. I know like last week has been kind of interesting, to say the least, but I do know that um, I have not forgotten you. I've actually been really busy taking care of myself, in addition to doing R&D Month. And as it is R&D Month, this is the last week of May, last full week, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to end R&D month with a bang. And before we get into jam anniversary, which is next month. So, in a way, I kind of had two events going back to back. So, you can understand why, like, certain things I had to disappear on Sunday. But all in all, you guys managed to get some pretty good content. You managed to get a mini bite. You managed to get another J-Man show, which was technically a Jam's Light episode. And then you also got the craziness of the power play. Which, by the way, it's good to have it back in the fold, isn't it? I know I'm feeling good about it. <laughs> oh man, we we have been doing it up over here on Destiny as far as I know. I can only imagine what happened when we jump on Destiny 2 or like any of these other sort of games that, you know, requires teams and all that stuff. So it should be pretty fun. I'm starting to think we should go after Apex. Hey, Marco, hey, Al, you, you guys listening to this show, and I know you are. <laughs> hey, let's consider that option, shall we? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Not to mention all the other things I have planned for J360 films, at least. That stuff is starting to look pretty good. Not to mention, like, it's all sitting ready to go. Finally, this PC is done being upgraded. This is, um... Actually, I'm not even talking to you guys from any of the studios right now. I'm using the device that I'm going to be using for Jams 47. So, I know I sound great. And I hope you guys are actually enjoying how this is going down. Because, so far, so good. This is working like a charm. Especially what I have planned. Oh, and uh, speaking of jams, it is Jams Week, of course. So Jams 47 is happening this Friday. If anybody out there has uh, tracks that they want to send or any musicians they know that would like to get their name out there, I am still open for two tracks. And not to mention, if it's a debut, I need a link for like wherever their music is so people can actually find them and give that good old support. Not to mention, merch sales, damn it! Yes, yes, I said it. <laughs> we need to do it up, you know? And that's the way. Not to mention, like, it was fun doing that Jams Light episode, so pay attention to more of those kind of episodes coming up soon. There will be plenty coming your way. Not to mention those of you that actually paid attention and saw J360 TV not too long ago. Yep, me and Al did a pilot episode of something. <laughs> it's going to be pretty cool. Like, we, we're actually working on the stages of that. But, you know, like, it's a sign of what's to come. And if you are a real savvy J360 uh, fan, you technically know what that series is. You do know what that series is. So I'm just uh, I'm just pointing it out there, not saying any names, because you're smart enough to know better. I know my fans. My fans are pretty smart. It's my enemies that are dumb. I <laughs> just figured I'd say that. All in all, though, like, uh, things are going to be pretty lit next time. Uh, I will let you guys know about the music videos and like when you guys can submit them. It's going to be a little bit different than regular jam submission, so we're going to work that out, okay? So more is going to be enveloped by the time we get into next week. You should get more jam anniversary information at that point, and stay tuned because that stuff's going to be marketed like all to be all the hell. You'll never get away from it. You will know jam anniversary too when you see it. 
<laughs> so I am very excited to, uh, you know, start that up for you guys again. Oh, man, isn't it something? So R&D Month, Jamiversary 2, and um, the Monster Fest, of course. And I guess that's just the three, right? Uh, no, the Holiday Fest is still a thing. I'm still working on that one. So, you know, let me go ahead and actually I need to put that in my books for to work on on Thursday. And Thursday's really important because that is always a deadline for a Jams episode. I know a lot of you guys out there are saying, hey, stay tuned, Jay, I got something for you. And I'm like, that's fine, but it's got to be by Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? Because um, if not, I'm going to have to put you to episode 48. See what I'm saying? Rules are rules, man. I mean, like, think about it. If you were in my shoes, you'd do the same thing. Especially because, you know, you want to maintain that. So that's just the way that goes. But every time that there's a Jams episode in play and it's accepting submissions, you got to realize that the night before is definitely the final time to get them tracks in so that everything's all set up and ready to go. There's a reason behind it, but I'm not explaining it on this one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, by the way, I know we didn't go into too much uh, movie reviews as of late. I know, once again, I was on SOTA. I managed to get a lot of my stuff out here, but I will tell you this, though. So far, for me, for my movie of the season, right off the bat, Sonic 2 still in the lead, you know, because I was really looking for Doctor Strange 2 to be up there to kind of blow me away for it, but you see, the thing is, for a strange movie, it was really average, you know? And if you're looking for more in-depth explanation of why it's average, I'd say wait until the SOTA episode. That'll really let you know everything about it. And as soon as it's landed, it'll be on J360 Radio or it'll be on, you know, Spotify, anywhere where podcasts are available. So you'll, you'll know it, you'll catch it, and you'll see what me, Marco, and Moosefer have to say on it. Because we really went all in on, like, the way that is going. And hopefully the MCU can get out of its own way to where it was, you know, fantastic. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, that's just me and my point of view on it. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Morbius never had a chance. I can't even redeem this film, guys. It was really terrible. Like, a lackluster plot, paper thin. Jared Leto's doing the best he can, but it's just, this movie, you know, it was, like, its plot line was a lot more thinner than Venom's, if that makes any sense. Because at least with Venom, you know, you could do something with his stuff, but Morbius was always, to me, like a featured character at best, you know? He's he's had some pretty decent limited runs they could have ran with, or whatever they tried to do, but that just wasn't it. And I can't believe that the same studio is actually attempting to do this again with Craven the Hunter, so I'm wondering exactly how they're going to make his whole thing come into play. Did he have an evil mentor, or is he going to be fighting the chameleon or something because of, you know, half-brother status? I, You know, it's just little things like that. But then again, you know, this is Sony, and Sony's going to do whatever they can to try to make a little bit of cred here, especially considering, like, uh, they can't necessarily use Spidey in general right now. But they are, but, you know, they're going to make their money anyway. So it is what it is. I think sometimes we just go to see these bad movies regardless. You know, if we stop going to them, maybe they'll stop making them. But <laughs> hey, we need something to riff, right? And at least then we got Spider Verse uh, number two, part one coming, right? So yeah, yeah that kind of changes the tide, I, I think. But yeah, I'm not even gonna attempt that anymore. I was thinking about doing it, but then I was looking at it, then I looked at it, and there's no saving grace for it. It's just a really pretentious, boring vampire movie. And it's not a successful one either, because we went through at least four of those at one time in our life. And, uh, no, no, five, you count, like, the part one, part two thing they try to do. Uh, Friggin' idiots, man. (laughs) Anyway, I won't say the name of it, because if you really were paying attention, you know what I'm talking about when it comes to those other movies. Nah, I'd rather see, like, a real strong conclusion to, like... Did the Underworld series ever have a strong conclusion to it, and I think about it? Uh, something I'm going to have to deep dive into, but I've been waiting because like, when the Monster Fest rolls around, we're going to delve into some more Uncharted territory, too. Not to mention like some of the oldest monster movies we can find, but some, definitely some of the more modern takes in here. And then we're going to have a little face-off with that, and that'll be fun. 
But that's something down the road. You guys worry about that during fall time. Right now, here in the summer, we will figure this out with all the crazy stuff that's going into play. Who knows? Maybe I'll go ahead and I'll do like a little mini week or something like that for you guys. I'm still laying out things for J360TV, by the way. Oh, which uh, I need to tell you. Yes, we are back on Twitch. But everything that happens on Twitch, Twitter, or whatever, it goes to the YouTube channel. So the YouTube channel is the most important one. So definitely look into that. If you did not catch it at that time... I think Twitch allows, what, 60 days at least or something like that? So you guys can catch it then. But if you guys really take your time with how you go about things, definitely go over to the J360 Productions YouTube channel. It'll be right there with a lot of other content. And uh, (laughs) we're just filling in the gaps, folks. It's going to be an amazing year. And we're going to win the whole damn thing. You know what? While I'm at it, I'll go for 2023 and 2024 as well. Because God knows if any of these nations don't fall apart or any of us quit attacking each other, hopefully we'll get that 2025. And if we're still here, which I'm pretty sure we are, then, yeah, we'll take over that year, too. Oh, yeah, I'm for it, man. This is going to be great. And not only that, the way this is sounding and the way everything's all standing together right here, I think we're going to have a kick-ass jams episode. Uh, Sky's the limit. So R&D month, dare I say, was a pretty successful R&D. So we're doing it. Research and development always works. Keep that in mind. And any of you other ones out there, get your own damn month. This one's mine. Claim! Claim! (laughs) Hey, what? I'm very self-serving. Anyway, it's time for me to get out of here because we are winding down on the clock. This is J-Man signing off. Uh, oh, wait. You guys want to know about your schedule, right? Okay, well, let's see. You got the mini bites happening now. Tomorrow, you got the J-Man show happening. And then you also have, let's see, for Thursday. Thursday's kind of open-ended. We'll see what we're going to fit there. It might just be a blank day because I still got to work on Jams 47. So... Friday, you definitely got a Jams episode. And Saturday, you have another Power Play episode. Tell them, though, this is J-Man signing off. You all take it easy. We will catch up again soon. Be blessed. Laters. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.